With people all over the world staying home to help reduce the spread of coronavirus, more people than ever are tuning into YouTube and other online platforms for both entertainment and education. In this video, I'm going to walk through five YouTube channels that I recommend most frequently for people looking to learn DevOps fundamental skills. Hey, what's up folks? Sid here from DevOps Directive, bringing you the information you need to level up your DevOps and cloud infrastructure skill set. On this channel, I create a lot of tutorial videos as well as informational ones like this one. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. Without further ado, let's get into it. Now the first YouTube channel that I'm suggesting you subscribe to or check out is Tutorial Linux. While he does have some recent content focused on DevOps, that's not the reason that I'm pointing you in his direction. Initially, he started out by publishing lots of videos related to Linux, the operating system, and how to become familiar and gain skills within that operating system. Nearly every DevOps and cloud infrastructure workflow depends on foundational understanding of the Linux operating system. If I had to pick one video or playlist on his channel for you to check out first, it would be this Linux Basics course from beginner to sysadmin, where he walks through some very simple command line skills and builds up from there to actual tasks that you would be doing administering a Linux-based system. While not all of this is directly applicable to today's DevOps world, where most of this configuration actually happens within scripts, it's very useful to understand the fundamentals so that when you're picking a configuration option or choosing which command flags to use, you know how those are going to impact the end system as it's deployed. So go check him out, learn yourself some Linux, and build upon that moving forward. The second channel I'm recommending is also related to a foundational skill required for DevOps and cloud infrastructure engineers. Regardless of where your application is being deployed, you're going to have to understand how the networking configuration works such that users will be able to safely access your content, but attackers will not be able to damage it uh, unnecessarily. This channel, Network Direction, has nearly 50,000 subscribers and has been posting to YouTube for about three years. While most of the networking content on YouTube focuses on uh, certifications, Network Direction actually goes into the fundamentals of how these different networks work uh, and does a great job of diagramming out all the different situations and clearly explaining each piece of the network puzzle. If I had to choose one playlist or series for you to watch within the Network Direction channel, it's this Network Fundamental series with 24 videos uh, explaining everything from uh, how IP addressing works to how DNS works, how virtual LANs work, etc. It's a great channel and I learned a ton from watching these videos. While the first two channels I recommended were more focused on the ops side of DevOps, the third channel is focused on the dev side. It's a full stack development related channel named Coding Garden with CJ. CJ provides a really unique style of content on YouTube. He publishes mostly very long live stream videos in which he goes into depth building out actual applications uh, and you can see the full process. If I go on to his video page here, you can see all of these live stream videos ranging from four hours to seven hours uh, to two hours. That might seem crazy long, but it's actually a really interesting and dynamic uh, video because they're all live stream and there's an audience providing commentary and CJ oftentimes responds to those comments in real time. So while I don't actually go in and watch a ton of these end to end, I'll put it on while I'm doing something else, listen in, and then when he reaches an interesting point, I'll reassign my attention and watch that particular component of the videos. A little bit different than most of the uh, YouTube content you'll see out there, so I definitely recommend checking him out. The fourth channel that I wanted to highlight is the Google Cloud Platform channel. Now all of the major cloud providers, AWS, Azure, GCP, produce high quality content and make it freely available on YouTube. The reason that GCP stood out is that they publish a number of these videos from their internal conference, Google Cloud Next, which provide in-depth demonstrations of using many of the new features that they deploy to Google Cloud, which can be a really great way of staying on top of the latest and greatest and keep your skills sharp so that you're ready to take advantage of new things as they're coming out of the pipeline. Again, I'll highlight one video from this channel, and that's this infrastructure and operations, how Google does planet scale engineering for planet scale infrastructure, uh, in which Melissa Bind goes through Google's site reliability engineering approach 
and how they actually design not only the technical systems, but actually the operational systems as well to ensure uptime for a global scale company like Google, which is pretty impressive. The fifth and final channel that I'm going to recommend today is that of the Cloud Native Compute Foundation. Now, Cloud Native refers to as how to utilize modern technologies to deploy your software to the cloud. Most of the content on this YouTube channel are long form conference talks from the conference KubeCon, uh, which focuses on Kubernetes and other cloud native technologies. While there are many great talks hosted on this channel, I would suggest searching for any that are presented by Kelsey Hightower. Kelsey's the master of the live technical demo and does an incredible job of blending technical explanation with theatrics to provide both an entertaining and educational video and presentation. This one in particular, he ports a Kubernetes pod into an AWS Lambda serverless function in real time live on stage. I'd recommend giving it a watch along with any of his other presentations. So those are my top five recommended YouTube channels for learning DevOps foundational skills. Hopefully that gives you many hours of content to go off and watch while you stay safe and socially distant at home over the next weeks or months. If you have any other channels that you would recommend, please leave them in the comments section below. I'd love to check them out myself. Thanks for watching the video. If you found it valuable, give it a like. See you in the next one.